Welcome to Daily Logistics. In this video, we are going to learn about what is logistics, seven rights in logistics and supply chain. It further elaborates the functions of logistics from the beginning. I recommend you to stick to the very end. What is logistics? Have you ever wonder about the correct explanation for logistics? The word, logistics, first appeared in the summary of The Art of War, book by Mr. Antoine Henri Gemini, a military officer and a writer. It was attested to the English language in early 1846 from the French word, logistic. The Oxford Dictionary defines logistics as the practical organization that is needed to make a complicated plan successful when a lot of people and equipment are involved, or the business of transporting and delivering goods. In the military, logistics was defined as the discipline of planning and carrying out the movement, supply, and maintenance of military forces, which was crucial during World War II. The word was added to the commercial world due to its importance from a point of production to the consumer. In commercial world, logistics has given many definitions. Yet the bottom line is to improve efficiency of the resources. Logistics of a value chain contain material handling, including packing and labeling, transportation, warehousing, inventory management, demand projection, and procurement. Looks like a simple process, but there is a lot to dig in within one element. Logistics play a crucial role to keep the world running. Most of the time, the logistician does the hard work being backstage. I.e., consider a situation where the person A in country B order a product from the supplier C in country D to deliver the product from country D to country B. There are a lot of work involved. First, this product should be produced. Supplier C has to purchase raw materials to produce the product. Then the product should pack and store until it is delivering. Then a booking has to make from a shipping line or from an airline. Then the product should deliver to the airport or the seaport for transporting. Once the product is at the destination port, from the port it should deliver to the customer's doorstep. So, there are a lot of logistics activities involved. The undiscussed documentation process also has a lot more to do along with the risk mitigation throughout the flow. There are arguments on giving a clear definition and to set a dedicated work to the word logistics. Industry experts were confused on whether to place logistics as a subcategory of supply chain or whether supply chain and logistics are two different categories having common terms. Yet there is no agreed work limit on whether logistics is a subcategory of supply chain or two different terms with a common series of activities. Logistics is a very old term where supply chain is a new concept. Both terms target the smooth and efficient flow of products and services from the point of origin to the destination. I am keeping a question mark for you to decide what best suited for logistics. Michael Kirby of National Distribution Centers defined logistics and supply chain as supply chain management incorporates the field of logistics and logistics as a number of sub processes within SCM, confirming logistics as a sub category of supply chain. Yet, Wayne Johnson of American Gypsum stated, There isn't a difference today, saying logistics and supply chain are the same. Seven rights of logistics. Logistics could be defined as a combination of seven rights, where seven rights include right product, right price, right quantity, right quality, right place, right customer, and right time. Right product. The product should be same as what customer has ordered, which is a basic requirement of placing orders by a customer. Placed order should not substitute with other products. Right quality. Product quality is another key component in logistics. There are different standards for different goods. Or there is a quality which c u s t o m e r demand for the payment they make in return. Quality of a product should not dissatisfy c u s t o m e r it may make the c u s t o m e r satisfied or happy. Right quantity. The right quantity is the volume a c u s t o m e r has ordered. Receiving less than or more than the ordered quantity could become a burden to the c u s t o m e r Receiving less will fail c u s t o m e r to cater the market he, she is having presents. Right price. Right price is the payment done for the value c u s t o m e r receives with procuring a product or a service. Right price depends on the other six rights of logistics. Right customer. The ordered products or services should reach the right customer who requires the products or the services. 
Receiving a product or a service to the wrong customer leads the right customer to be dissatisfied and fail the logistics of the product chain. Right time. Right product should be produced at the right time to cater the demand. If jerseys are manufactured, the right time for them to be in the market is the winter. If the product doesn't reach the market prior winter, there won't be a demand for the jerseys. Hence, right time is very critical in logistics. Right place. Right place is the seventh right factor in logistics. Even the right product r e a c h a wrong place market, it won't be easy to see the expected demand for the product. For example, ladies in some Asian countries wear saris. The demand saris have in Europe is not same as in Asia. Hence, the right place for saris is Asian market and not the Europe market. That's all for this video. I hope you have basic idea of what logistics is. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe us to watch the latest videos on logistics, supply chain, international trade, and port and shipping. See you in the next video. Welcome to.